Hello children, welcome to Nivita School Online Classes. Children, today we are going to learn about lesson number 1, part 2. Before get into the lesson, just I will brush up children. See, in previous class we learnt about what is solar system, how many planets are there in solar system, what is earth what is solar system ok what do we see in the sky in the day and night ok these are all about we learnt in previous class now we are going to learn about shape of the earth yes children already we learnt about the earth now we are going to learn about the shape of the earth see children can you tell me what is the shape of the earth yes straight away wasling the shape of the earth is round like a ball isn't it yes but in ancient times people what they thought the earth the earth was flat what they thought children they were very scared because if they traveling to far away places they will fall what they thought they will fall they might have fall that's why there is no edges to the earth if they traveling for away away places what they thought they they they, they might fall off the edges but there were people what I what who were the Aristotle and Copernicus see children Aristotle and Copernicus they what they said yes children the they said that the earth was not flat they said that the earth is shaped like a ball and it has no edges before that ancient times people scared scared means they afraid to traveling for away places what they thought they might fall but Aristotle and Copernicus what they said no the earth is round like a ball it has no edges see about 500 years ago how many 500 years ago in in the year 1519 children 1519 19 Portuguese sailor what was his name his name was Ferdinand Magellan Ferdinand Magellan started a long voyage from Spain. Do you know children what is voyage? Yes children voyage means a long journey involving travel by sea or in the space. Uh, Ferdinand Magellan what he did he started long voyage from from Spain what he did he wanted to he wanted to prove that no one could not fall from the earth he himself could not finish the journey but his sailors continued the sail in one direction only 
to their surprise after three long years of selling they reached the place where they started their voyages see children ferdinand magellan he wanted to prove, prove that no one should not fall from the earth that's why he started long voyages but he did not finish the voyages but his sailors continued to sail in one direction for their surprise what happened they reached the same place where they started so this proved that the earth is round like an orange see children this meant that they had sail around the earth then what is that it proves what proved it proved that the earth had no edges in fact it was round like a ball see children slightly flat at the top and the bottom see children it is slightly flat and flat top and the bottom okay children it is round like an orange okay this is all about magellan journey okay one second i'll revise children about 500 years ago means in 1519 portuguese sailor named ferdinand magellan started voyages with his sailors after 3 years they reached the same place where they started but magellan did not complete his voyages but his sailors completed the voyages they reached the same place where they started this proved that the earth is round like a ball it is not flat okay children yes next we will study about that land horizon see children what are these these are all the top tall buildings what are these children these are the tall buildings children see if we stand on on the top of the building we can see the earth the earth and the sky meeting you can observe here earth and the sky meeting there it is called land horizon what are these these are the tall buildings if we stand on the this building if uh, if we stand on the building we can see that the land and the sky meeting but is it possible children no this meeting place is called the horizon okay next in the same way see here this is land horizon but here sea horizon means the place where land and sea water meet is called the coast see land and the water it is meet it is called the coast the meeting place is called the horizon means land and the sky meeting place is called the horizon water and the sky meeting place is called the coast understood children this is all about your first lesson the earth our home okay children see one thing i'll show you the place where land and the sea water meet is called the coast you can observe here okay next quick recap 
how many planets are they there are eight planets the earth is the home of all living things all living things what they need air water to live isn't it aristotle and copernicus said that the earth is shaped like a ball and has no edges magellan also proved that the earth had no edges okay children then we learned about land horizon and sea horizon also okay children thank you